Hello beautiful people and welcome to another episode of Let Love Lead. Today I want to share the actual steps that I use sometimes multiple times a day to transcend and transform a fearful feeling that might come up in my in my body. And the thing that I've come to understand is that these feelings are like a doorway. They're like a, a signal for us to see something. But we have become so used to reacting to the feeling in order to avoid it that we're missing the opportunity. So in my experience in life and particularly in the last couple of years since I've really been doing this deep inner work of sitting in stillness and listening to silence um, is that there are two choices when we feel something. So feeling something can sometimes just be a sensation in our body. It can be a verbal response. It can be, um, people use the word trigger. You can feel activated by something. Whenever that occurs, the very first thing to do is stop. Because from that point, you have got two choices. You've got the opportunity to move into a space of love and open-heartedness and then move from that place. Or what most of us tend to do, because we're not in any way taught to do this work, is to react or respond from that fear, that cortisol hit, that um, uncomfortable reaction that, that kicks up in our body and that my friends is fear and that is the entry point to actually sit and feel it so step one when you when that sensation comes up in your body regardless of what what brought it on stop then ask yourself two questions what am I feeling give it a name and where in my body Am I feeling it? Locate it in your body. Then take an actual big deep breath into that space within your body where you feel that emotion, where you're feeling that feeling. And rinse and repeat. Stay with it. Now this is the point where the voice in your head's going to get really, really loud and it's going to say things like, Let's go look at social media. Let's go grab a coffee. Let's go for a run. Let's go eat some food. Let's, let's go do anything. And it will be loud in your head because it knows that you are about to feel and transcend something that may have been laying dormant in your central nervous system for a lifetime. So they are the actual steps. Now, does this happen? Is it an immediate thing? Sometimes, sometimes the feeling will come back. And again, it is your opportunity to catch it, be still with it, bring your full focus and attention to it, breathe into it and let it be there. Welcome it, let it be there. Tell it, even say you are welcome here. Four of, my, four of the most powerful words I think I was, I've ever learned. You are welcome here. And sit with it. Because anything that you do as a reaction to that is going to, as a reaction to the feeling, is going to move you so far away from the truth of who you are. When you sit with it, you will actually start to become the very essence of what you're here to be, which is love, peace, joy, and what you do from that space will actually change the world.